Hello students and learners, welcome to the Brain Box Tutorials. I am your teacher Priyanka and today we will discuss the specimen question paper of English literature of ICSE class 10 2023 exam. So this is the paper. We will do today section A and uh, the other sections, uh, the video of other sections also I will upload very soon. So starting with section A, question number 1. Read the following questions and choose the most appropriate response from the choices given below. Okay. Please do not copy the questions. Simply write out in correct serial order the appropriate word or phrase. So let us start with number one. Number one is what did the little match girl see when she struck the second match? Options are number A, a beautiful candle lit Christmas tree. No. Number B, her grandmother who loved her dearly. No. Number C, bright star shooting across the sky. No, that means number D, a stuffed goose waddling towards her. This is the correct option. Now, how will you write the answer? You are going to write number one, part one, option D and write the phrase whichever, whichever is given. For example, D, a stuffed goose waddling towards her. That's it. Only that way you are going to answer all the questions. Now, number two, what is the caged bird in Maya Angelou's poem, Blinded by? Number A, her narrow cage. Number B, her rage. Number C, the sun's orange rays. Number D, her fears of the unknown. And the correct answer will be B, her rage. Then the poem, a phrase is also mentioned, her uh, bars of rage. So that is why this is the correct option. Now number three, in the poem that Margot wrote in Bradbury's story, All Summer in a Day, she compares the sun to a number A, penny, number B, clock, number C, flower, number D, lemon. And the correct option is C, flower. Now number four, which of the following statements is not true of Sibia, that is the blue bead. Number A, she had long golden hair. Number B, she had to work hard from her early years. Number C, she was 12 years old. And number D, she had no money to buy glass beads at the bazaar. See, B, C and D, these are mentioned in the story. That means number A, she had long golden hair will be the option which is not true. Now number 5, which of the following lines from the poem, 9 gold medals, tells us that the poem describes an international sporting event. So options are number A, the athletes had come from so many countries. Yes, if there are many countries, athletes are from many countries, that means it is an international sporting event. Still, we will look at B, C, D. B and nine young athletes stood there determined. No, that is wrong. C, the eight other athletes stopped in their tracks. No, it does not uh, tell about their nationality. Number D, to run for the gold, for the silver and the bronze. So obviously, the correct option is A. This is easy. Now number 6, Jesse Owen says that Hitler had kept him less long under wraps. What does the phrase under wraps mean? Number A, wrapped in a blanket. Number B, gift wrapped. Number C, a carefully concealed secret. Number D, beneath a wrapper. So option C, carefully concealed secret is the correct option. Number 7, what makes the central character in Browning's poem, The Patriot, feel sad and bitter? Number A, option number A, the welcome he received. Option B, the fickle-mindedness of his followers. Number C, getting wet in the rain. And last option D, the flags on the church spire. Uh, what made him feel sad and bitter is option B, the fickle-mindedness of his followers. Number 8, Joe Thompson was a, Joe Thompson is in Angel in Disguise. So, Joe Thompson was a, number A, barber, number B, carpenter, number C, gardener, number D, wheelwright. So, option number D, wheelwright is the correct option. Number 9, what did Above and Adam say, see in his bedroom when he awoke one night? Option A is a fairy writing in a book of gold. Option B, an angel sitting on his bed. Number C, a fairy sitting on his bed. And option D, an angel writing in a book of gold. Yes, the correct option is option D, an angel writing in a book of gold. Now coming to number 10, what sight fills the poet Wordsworth's heart with joy? That is in Daffodil's poem. Uh, option number A, a field of daffodils. Yes, 
ऑप्शन बी द स्टार्स इन द मिल्की वे नो सी द डांसिंग वेज नो नंबर डी द लोनली क्लाउड नो सो ऑप्शन ए अ फील्ड ऑफ डेफोडिल्स इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन नंबर इलेवन वेन शायलोक स्पीस स्पीक्स ऑफ जेसिकाज इलोपमेंट ही एक्सक्लेम्स माई ओन फ्लैश एंड ब्लड टू रेबल वट फीलिंग फीलिंग डू हिज वर्ड्स कन्वे ऑप्शन ए प्राइड नॉट एट ऑल ऑप्शन बी एन वी ऑप्शन सी बिट्रेयल ऑप्शन डी रिमोर्स सो ऑप्शन सी ही वॉज फीलिंग बिट्रेयल बाई इज ओन डॉटर सो बिट्रेड ही वॉज फीलिंग सो ऑप्शन सी इज करेक्ट ऑप्शन नंबर ट्वेल्व वॉट रेयर क्वालिटी ऑफ बसानियोज हेल्प्स हिम चूज द राइट कैस्केट ऑप्शन ए हिज ऑनेस्टी एंड इंटीग्रिटी ऑप्शन बी हिज डेस्परेट नीड फॉर मनी ऑप्शन सी हिज डिसलाइक ऑफ गोल्ड एंड सिल्वर एंड ऑप्शन नंबर डी हिज एबिलिटी टू लुक बियॉन्ड आउटवर्ड अपेरेंसेज सो ऑप्शन नंबर डी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन नंबर थर्टीन माई डीड्स अपॉन माई हेड आई क्रेव द लॉ the penalty and forfeit of my bond who says these words and to whom this is very easy option a portia to antonio no option b shylock to portia yes this is correct option c bassanio to portia and option d antonio to shylock is written but the correct option will be shylock to portia now number 14 which of the following words best describes antonio's attitude during the trial option a jealous option b angry option c generous and option d resigned so here the correct option will be option d resigned antonio was totally resigned because when vasanio uh, says to him in the court uh, that i shall allow the jew to have all my flesh blood on my account before you he takes yours at that time antonio says that i am tainted whether of the flock meetest for death so that shows his uh, like very resigned very like he has given up everything now he uh, he has lost all his hope number 15 why does a quarrel breaks out between narisa and grishano in the final act of the merchant of venice option number a grishano admits that he had given away the ring which narisa had given to him number b narisa admits that she had accompanied portia to venice disguised as a lawyer's clerk option c grishano is annoyed with narisa for giving away his ring to a stranger in venice and option number d narisa is angry with grishano for leaving for venice on the very day they were married so option number a is the correct option because uh, grishano has admitted that he had given away the ring uh, which narisa had given to him that is he uh, grishano has given this ring to the clerk of the lawyer that is actually to narisa he has given but narisa was in disguise of the clerk now last one number 16 how does lorenzo recognize portia even before he sees her when the two young women returned from venice option a by the clothes she wears option b by the sound of her voice option c by the perfume she uses and option d by her touch so here option number b by the sound of her voice will be the correct option so with this we have completed the 16 mcqs and section b c d each and every question we will discuss in the next video so if you haven't subscribed to my channel subscribe and wait for the next video i am going to upload it very very soon bye bye jai hind